It's not even up and running yet, but city officials are already calling for expanding the route of the Milwaukee streetcar. That's right. Pete Zerbach is live at City Hall where the Common Council is talking about this right now. Pete? Well, Bridget, the Common Council has called for $20 million in city taxpayer money that would come from tax increment finance districts to be put towards expanding the Milwaukee streetcar route to 4th Street from 4th and Juneau south to the area of roughly the Amtrak station on St. Paul Avenue. The vote on that came down here within the last hour or so at the council meeting upstairs. Supporters of the extension say it will link West Town and the new Bucks Arena with the streetcar's phase one route through downtown in the third ward. They say that will spur development and lead to economic growth and better services throughout the city. The whole point of the streetcar is to basically increase the city's tax base. Downtown presently represents 3% of the city's land area, 18% of the tax base. That tax base is used to fund all the services that are consumed throughout the city of Milwaukee. If we don't start uh, giving the kind of support to the rest of the city that we're clearly doing to downtown, then I think we're in trouble. Alderman Mark Borkowski, you may have guessed after hearing him, was one of four no votes on the council this morning. The final vote was 11 to 4. Borkowski calls the extension irresponsible given that the streetcar isn't up and running already. Now, in addition to the $20 million of local money that the council approved, the city has also applied for $20 million in federal money to cover the second half of the 4th Street extension. The local money would, of course, only be spent if that federal grant is approved. Live outside City Hall, Pete Zervakis, today's TMJ4. All right, Pete, thanks for the update.